By popular demand, I'm going to upload the full video of me designing these logo concepts. I must warn you guys though, towards the middle of, or about an hour and a half into the video, I was starting to get tired. You can look at the clock on the video. It's getting pretty late and I was just ready to be finished with the project. However, here you guys go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name really quick just copied and paste that from my job folder and I think I'll do this on a horizontal layout just eight and a half by eleven going to go ahead and hit create now I do have some folders you have to excuse me my computer is super fast I have some folders here where I grab some elements that I thought would be useful in creating these designs I so to break it down, it's a uh, place that sells ATVs, does tune-ups, oil changes, kind of performance enhancements, and they really just don't like the logo that they currently do have. Here is the logo. P, and I'm going to bring in some of these elements that um, off-screen, so that way it wasn't taking too, too much time. I did put together just some elements that uh, took me, I don't know, some, maybe about an hour or so, kind of on and off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some of these elements that I'll use for creating this logo, and you'll see what they are. Some of these things I might have to take back to Photoshop to either enlarge, I'm going to trace a lot of these off. Some of them are just clip art items that I did find online and what that's going to do is save me a bunch of time, keep me from having to redraw all these things. And I'm just going to kind of push them off to the side. And we're just going to do an image trace. I'm just kind of shoving some of these things around. I do know that Okay, got everything sized down, kind of pushed off to the side. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring their logo in. I think one of the things that I did kind of like about it is the little texts they had in there because off road I looked that up. It's something I researched, kind of researched their their page and everything, their branding, so to speak. I do like the fact that it has this Texas silhouette. Uh, I don't like that the previous artist did smash down that font, so we're gonna figure out something a little better to do about that. And so this is what they, they do currently have. Um, since we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and do an image trace of the silhouette of Texas. And I'm going to expand that really quick. So now we got our little Texas shape. And I'm going to trace off some of these simpler images real quick just so I have these as vector elements that I can use in our design. So I'm just gonna go around and trace a lot of these off, expand them. So that way we got some, we got some stuff to work with. And I'll just kind of group them together. And as we're going along, I'll kind of get a feel for what's working, what is not working. And just keep in mind, guys, that this is all just an opinion, really. That's one of the things about being an artist is there's no right or wrong way to go about doing this stuff. However, you know, we do want it to look nice. We want them to be happy with it is the main goal 
and hopefully we end up capturing what it is they're looking for. It's kind of always what you want is for them to just be thrilled about the design that you put together and put you can put hours upon hours into this stuff or some of you guys might be able to bang this out pretty quick for me uh, the, the thought process generally takes a couple hours a couple two or three before I'm happy with something I like to just kind of push things around um, just kind of jazz things up really I'm gonna go ahead and expand that and I know somebody out there is probably going to whine about me grabbing some of this art, some of this clip art. Um, actually, I think I'll, I'll back up on this one here and not image trace it, but don't get me wrong. Um, being creative with these pieces of art that I have grabbed off the internet uh, a lot of them are free. Some of these are just kind of thumbnails, but I'm going to make them work for our purposes here. Um, I, I forget where I got some of these, but, um, I'll let you guys know if it, if it hits me. Okay. So that one's pretty low resolution. What I'm going to do is have to ramp up the resolution. So we're not losing a lot of these details like that's just kind of blowing out okay so let me go back to my pictures of my ATVs and here we go ATV silhouette so I'm going to open these up into Photoshop I'm just going to drag it down drop it right onto Photoshop icon hit command Option I, and then I'm going to make this about twice as large as it normally was. And then I hit Command L, and I'm just going to kind of compress this image a little bit. Some of these softer, uh, what you'll see is going on, or what is going on is I'm kind of making harder edges by hitting Command L, going to levels and then just really compressing some of these pixels here. So now I'm just going to save that, going to close it. I'm going to repeat the process for these next images here. Just bumping up the size of the image and then just kind of compressing everything. It might end up looking like crap. Who knows? We shall see. But as I was saying, uh, there's someone's always kind of giving you a hard time trying to teach people how to <laughs> basically uh, work with some images, make something from nothing. And uh, got a little bit of a little bit of YouTube hate. Ain't no big deal though. No, we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a logo design that uh, looks great. So I'm gonna update these, and let's go over to this splash here. Uh, these tire marks as well. And, and what I did do when I was looking for these images, um, went to Google, searched for what it is I'm looking for: splash, ATV, uh, silhouette, and Basically, use the toolbar to search for the, the highest resolution option that I could find. So that way you, you got something you can just really work with. And bump up some of the resolution. So I'm going to bump this to 300. And my computer's not the fastest computer. It's about time to update it, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. 
Only because we just got some other equipment in the shop. All right, we're going to crop that out. Do the same thing here. And one of the things you'll notice is like these splashes and everything, which is one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, sure, I didn't create these splashes and these kind of bro blah, 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 brush strokes. Is um, just kind of using it as a creative way to make something new. So I'm not exactly ripping these off, putting them up for sale. So if anyone has a problem with that, whatever. All right, we're going to res this one up. Do the same thing, compress it a little bit. Going to save it and close it. Okay, so I did have to do a font search for that, installed all my fonts that I am going to need. Let's update our links. I think the last thing I need to do is my tire marks here. Let's see, where is our, okay, ATV tracks. There we go. And here it is, Vecteasy. Got quite a bit of these from Vecteasy, which is a free resource for vector art and, and just art such as this. Um, there's only a couple of those images that really uh, grab from wherever I grabbed it that look like it might work. Who knows? Getting ahead of myself. Okay, yeah. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to go back. It will update. And then, yeah, so that looks better. So we're going to go ahead and, and trace these off, see how well it does. Eh, it's not too bad. It could be better. I'm going to play around with these settings a little bit, see what we we get. I don't want it to fill in too, too much. And I'll probably end up going back and clean this up a little bit. But who knows? Uh, this silhouette here is going to be for one particular idea that is going to involve some of these splashes here. Let me go ahead and expand that. And I'm going to go to the next one, image trace. See what we get. And hit undo, redo. Looks like it's missing some of it. <clears throat> so I'm going to increase that a little bit. Okay. We got a little bit more to work with there. I'm going to hit expand. Uh, Expand this one as well. Let's see what else have we not expanded. I think we bumped this one up. Yep, we definitely bumped it up. Let's image trace it. See how it comes out. See what disappears because it doesn't need to be super detailed. It is a logo. I tend to like to that. That looks good. I tend to like to keep things as simple as possible so that way it can be put on all kinds of different formats, different marketing materials, you name it. Just trying to keep things simple. And this one here, this image here just might not even be uh, usable with how harsh it's looking. It's looking a little better. Yeah, you can see it's pretty pixelated. So this this might not even be something we can even use. I'll lower this down a little bit and see exactly what we got here. All right, I'm going to just roll with that. 
going to go ahead and expand it. We're going to do this one. We get our image trace on. That looks pretty good. Although I kind of feel like that's a little bit of an extreme pose. Okay, so we expanded that. I'm going to select this white here and go to select Matt. and uh, same fill color. I'll be right back. Clients at the door. Okay, where were we at? Client just dropped off some t-shirts. All right, I'm selecting this white here. I'm going to select same fill color. If you hit V on the keyboard, you can kind of see that it selected all the white. From the rest of these, now we're just left with what is black images. Aside from this little part here, we'll get rid of that. Looks like I forgot to do these tire tracks here. Let's go ahead and trace that off. And then, let's see. This one, I think I will mess with the results a little bit. Let's see, outlines with source. So it looks like it's missing some of the little details here. I'm gonna pull that back just a touch. And then also I'm going to, let's see, crease my corners a little bit, see if that helps. Might pull it back even more because we're missing some of these details here. Kind of wanting a, um, as much of it, I wanted to grab as much of the details as possible. Uh, let's see, let's bump the, the pass up a little higher see what we get okay that's looking a little better we might have to go back and add our own little texture there I'm gonna hit expand and then do the same thing select same fill color delete that and then I'm just going to hit command shift G to break these apart and then I'm gonna group each of these tire tracks off see which one ends up working out the best for us i um, thinking this one here probably I don't know I'll, I'll hang on to it just in case would you mind closing the door babe would you mind closing the door and turning the light on sorry was out there drinking Okay. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all these images traced off, uh, we do know that we want off road. So we'll type in off road. We're going to make it all caps. I clone that off and then I'm going to go ahead and type in motorsports. And we'll go back and take a look at some of the fonts that I did happen to find. And we'll see if they work. They may or may not work. They might look awful. Okay, so we got Airstrike. Airstrike is one of them, Highland Gothic. Let's see, Airstrike. Let's see what that looks like. Let me go ahead and quit my... Okay, let's see what airstrike looks like. That may or may not work. Uh, one of the things I need to do is their abbreviations here. ORM. Just gonna scale that up real quick. And I'm going to clone this off. Let's see, what did I say our, our other was? We got Highland, Nero. So let's do Highland. See how that looks. All right, like the Boulder one. I think Nero. Nero, I believe, was the um, 
original font. They did kind of like that. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So there we are with that. Not a fan of this part, so just going to get rid of that. Going to clone this off. Let's see what else we got. Okay, Super Commando. Yeah. Whatever that one's called. So that one didn't look too, too bad. And now I've been completely forgot what the other one is. Super Commando. How could you forget that? Super Commando. Let's see what kind of options we get here with this font. I do know that I kind of like how some of the, these other logo designs were or are italicized. Kind of gives it a little bit of action. I think thus far I'm liking this for the main font. Um, okay, so I'm going to just push all this off to the side and I'm just going to grab little pieces of things that I do like. Whether it be the font or whatever the case is. Uh, let's see. This one looks kind of cool. Looks like it's got some action to it. I wonder if this... Let's see. Super Commando. Might have a little... Too much of a... Let's see. Might be fine. I don't know. All right. Let's stick with this one here. Um, and I think for one of the fonts that I do like as my go-to is this font called Go Bold. I don't use it in absolutely everything, but it is a pretty cool font. I might want to check that out. So let's see. Go bold and see what we get. It's a little compressed. However, see what we can make happen. So I do see that this guy stretched those quite a bit. This font is a little bit condensed. May not may or may not work, so I might want to you know ex just kind of um have this spanned across the the width of this this here so let's see what other fonts we do have that's maybe extended that might end up looking good Let's see, extended. See what we got. Man, for an extended font, it's really not extended all that much. That might be a little better. Hardly. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to hold on to these two fonts here uh, for the moment. Let me bring, let's see which one, which one of these tire tracks I do like the most. Uh, I'm thinking of this one here. I'm just going to clone it off. And I'm thinking to give this a little bit of action. Okay, I think I want to incorporate this somehow into the design of this, whether it come off the the leg of one of these, whether it's like the M or maybe the let me send this to the back real quick. So that way I can grab. 
this graphic here in front easier. I don't know, it might be cool having it kind of trail off of this R right here. Not necessarily with it going up like that. And who knows, that might end up being something kind of cool once we put some color to it. So that way we're not um, having to, to do one of these things where if I wanted to, you know, that just to me does not look good. Let's see. Maybe we'll try... I kind of like this M better. This font is a little more extended. Mm, yeah, I think, I don't know, the, the R of this one here, looking a little Helveta-like. It's not bad, but I'm just kind of analyzing some of these things, some of these characters. Let's see, do they have this one even bolder? Let's see, go bold. Let's go over here to, to go bold. It would help if I could see it as I'm doing these things. Let me go over to my character palette here. That might help. Okay, so go bold, extra bold. And that's kind of cool how that A is. Uh, I'm not a fan of that F though. Let's see. Go bold, bold. All right, let's go with the, the bold variation. And I don't know, let's see if perhaps, maybe instead of putting that Texas in there, let's see what size this is. Let's just make it an even 24. Make this an even 24 as well. I'm gonna clone that off. Yeah, I think I might just put this over here. One of the things that I want to do is kind of make this italic a little bit. Let's see, do they have the italic variation? Yes, they do. And I don't like the fact that I don't know, this this one does seem quite a bit like it's maybe a little too italicized. So let me go back and, eh. Maybe it's a little too extreme. Or maybe not, I don't know. Hmm. So this is one of those, those things where you kind of playing around and it does make a difference. I don't know, I might leave it like that. I was thinking about perhaps it just kind of coming down like this a little bit. Part of this R here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to outlines. And let me move this out of the way. Hit Command Y. I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to remove, I'm just kind of divide this up, make this leg of the arm a little bit, uh, you know, just kind of what I'm doing at this point basically is trying to make this a separate shape. So that way we got some 
trademarks here. I'm going to go over to my Pathfinder. Hit Command Shift G, Command Y again. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to hit Command X, cut that out the way. All right, I just pasted that right in front just to kind of see what we're looking at here. I think one of the things I'm going to do is bring this up a little bit. May rotate this just a touch. There we go. And I think for the moment, I'm just gonna draw a path really quick. And I'm going to mask this off. So I'm gonna select this, hit Command-7. Now it's pasted inside this shape here. Kinda give me a little bit better of an idea what we're looking at here. I don't know, maybe this could come down even more. So let me undo that. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. Command Y so I can see my outlines here. And maybe that can just drop down just about even with bottom text here. Motorsports. Okay, I think we're starting to get somewhere. I want to bring this a little closer. Maybe reduce this font down a little bit. And you can see what I'm talking about, how it just kind of looks a, a little goofy with them not being on the same slant. So I think I'm going to take these and then just skew them just a little bit and then perhaps skew these just a little more so that way it is they're pretty similar in their skew let's see where we are Or, you know, it might be fine the way it is. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, as you can see, I've got a nice black and white here. It's starting to look a little better as we start adding effects to it. Things will definitely start coming together. I'm going to group this off. Uh, one of the things that I do like to do is when I get to a certain point, so that way I'm not completely destroying my work, is I will clone it off, push it over to the side, and I'll have that to kind of work backwards off of rather than having to hit undo a bunch of times. Speaking of, Hang undo a bunch of times. Let's go ahead and save this while I'm thinking about it. And I'm going to save this into my ORM folder. I'm going to collapse these. It's distracting me a little bit. I like to keep things nice and organized. As you can see, I got everything in folders here. Nice and labeled. Okay, I've had a little bit of a moment to kind of think about some of the font selections that I do have and ended up right back with the, the same font that the this font is in, the ORM. So I think I'm going to just kind of move forward with that. I'm going to adjust my kerning a little bit on some of these letters, characters here. 
pull this in a little bit. Make the, the space look somewhat even. And then who knows, maybe here between off road, it generally has that little hyphen. We'll see how it looks with the silhouette of Texas in there. Might not even be worth tossing that in there. It might be so small that uh, you know, because at when this logo is scaled down, it's what you kind of want to think about is can you really tell that's the shape of Texas? Mm, I can still tell. So maybe we'll give that a try and leave that there. And let's scoot this over. Let's go ahead and clone this one off. And at this point, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert all these fonts to outlines. And I think I might want to make sure that this is at least as wide as this character here. Looks like it. I'm just going to hit undo. Get right back to where it was at. And who knows, maybe, maybe this would end up looking cool if this did extend a little bit up here. Or does that look goofy? I don't know. I think I'll back it up because it doesn't really look like an R anymore. All right, so I'm going to bring this. O in a little bit, kind of tighten some of that up just a bit. I think that looks a little better. And then as far as off-road, I don't know, I might bring this down here. Let's kick this over to the side. See what looks better. Let's bring off road down here. Let's see, we'll use our align tool. Make sure it's aligned to selection. Get it at the same point here. And scale that down a little bit. I don't know. So it, what I'm thinking of is if I scaled this down towards where and this is basically the same size as this O, what is it going to look like? Pull this down. So I kind of liked it when it was, uh, this was the size of that basically what we got going on here. Although I might be able to do something off the tail end of this. See how that looks. Okay. I think one of the things I'm going to do at this point is I hit Command R, bring a ruler down, make this look more like the, the bottom of an R. So I'm going to delete some of this. And maybe we can take some of these little pieces here, kind of sprinkle it around a little bit. Maybe have it looking a little bit like dirt get rid of this one and let's see maybe we'll take some of these pieces down here we'll have this I'm gonna unlock my guide real quick drag this down 
here a little bit. Okay, I think that looks a little better. Aside from this one part, I don't know. Might just delete some of these points here. Mm, we gotta get rid of that all together. And perhaps take this piece here. And double click, double click again. Going to copy that, double click out of it. Command F, put it in front. Maybe I'll just rotate it around. See what that gets us. Okay, I'm liking that better. Now, let's start adding some color to this. Let me go back and take a look at our client's logo here. So they got got black, blue, and then gray. So we'll create ourselves a blue from this blue. Make a new swatch. I'm just gonna call it Royal Blue. I'm gonna double click on it. Make sure it is 100% CMYK. I think I'm gonna make this 75. Okay, let's start adding some color to this. And see what we get. Of course, I'm going to have to double click in here. Make that blue. Make all of this blue. I'll give this a gray color. Now at this point, um, what I'm going to do is put a gradient inside of it. So we already have our blue created. And let's try and make this thing look like, let's just go ahead and start dragging this blue down in here. And I'm just going to put different points in here. Let's start out with five. See what we got. So I'm going to pull this blue back a little bit. Let me go ahead and make that a spot color. So that way we can just kind of pull back shades of it. And let me do that again. We'll toss all these colors in here. Actually, it's just the, the one color, but, and you'll see while we're doing this, I think I might pull one of these out. And let's see what happens when we, let's pull this back a little bit. Do the same thing. Pick our gradient tool, do that on the horizontal. And then we're going to just just about butt these right up against one another. Now we're starting to get a little bit of a horizon effect going on here. The only issue is I'm not a big fan of how this blue is kind of and maybe I just went a little too extreme with it let's pull it there we go I think that looks a little better select this other one there we go I think that looks better who knows instead of uh, using CMYK on this here might end up just making it RGB so we can get 
more vibrant color going. And which pretty much we'll have to go back and redo what I was doing there. It looks like we missed out on these parts here. So let me take these parts here and cut them, go back into this group here. Hit Command F, paste that in front. I'll select all of it, make it the same color. Send that to the back. Let's see how this thing is looking on a black background. Yeah, see, I'm just not loving how that's looking. Okay, so I think what I am going to end up doing now that I'm kind of looking at this is uh, I'm just not liking, once it's on this black background, I'm just not really liking using that same font. So let's see with the, uh, the font that we originally had. Let me go ahead and make all this white real quick and just kind of see what we end up with. Yeah, I'm actually liking how that kind of reads out better. Now that I'm seeing it reversed out. So, let's take this tire track that we do have here. We'll put this thing over here. I'm going to ungroup this. and get rid of this black background. I'm going to cut all this real quick some extra things going on behind there and which I shouldn't have deleted the blue one all right there we go pull this thing over make sure it's hiding behind this Now, I don't know, I might end up pulling this up a little bit, tightening that up, in which I, I kind of want to make these even, even Steven. And I'm kind of liking the... Um, I don't know. One of the things about designing things is just going back and forth. I feel like how that looks better on that one. Maybe it's just the the placement altogether. Hard to tell, hard to tell. I just know that when it gets there. I'll, I'll just know when I'm I'm happy with it because uh, I'm like yeah yeah that looks good I don't need to tweak it anymore. Let's see here. Let us see. Hmm.
I don't know, I kind of want this to span the size of this. Like to me that looks good. And then with this off road, I don't know, something looks a little goofy with it up here. Certainly I could put it over here, but then that just looks silly. I mean, it reads well this way. It even reads well this way, but then we're kind of left with because of the size of these. Let's see, this is, we might as well just make that 24 again. Make this one 24 again as well. Take this Texas. Let's see. So, one of the things we can do is tighten that up a little bit. Then, or, you know, maybe I could, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of liked it with um, this tightened up a little more. We're too tight. Let's get our rulers out. Let's see what we got. And maybe, I don't know, making this thing a little smaller. But then, this we're on a sign. We're looking at it from far away. And you just see ORM. This one you clearly can see it's off road motorsports. So let's go ahead and bump that back up. Take this, let's put it back up here. I mean, one of the things I could do is do that. However, I do not like the uh, difference in the sizes. I know that they have it different here. This is a longer word. See about making this dude a little bit bigger. I don't know, that, that might work. It may. However. Yeah. I say let's just roll with it. Just like that. We're going to make some other options as well. So if this doesn't end up being the best option... I don't want to spend too, too much time on it. All right. It took me a little bit of a break. Need to step back from this for a moment. I think I'm just kind of, I'm going to get after just putting some color into this and I'll come back and revisit it because who knows, they may or may not even like this concept. So let's just go ahead and finish adding some color to it. Let's see. I think I did end up, did not end up making that RGB. I'm going to make it RGB for now, just so it looks nice and bright. Change my color mode here to RGB. Wow, there we go. Now we're cooking. And... Let's see, we're going to do some things to this to, to kind of make it um, just really kind of pop for the most part. And let's change our... Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, I see that uh, our, because we did switch to RGB, these colors are a little different. We're not exactly using black here 
Um, okay, so let me drag this over. I'm going to pull this off over here. Get rid of that guide. Pull this guy up here. So this tire tread, I mean, for the most part, we still pretty much have our design here. Oh. And so what I'm going to do is let's take yeah okay so it is let me lock these guides I'm gonna take this one here I feel like this one reads best even though originally my thought was to make them the same font size uh, I think this will work out best I think I'll just make this blue quickly here we'll come back and let's take our gradient and get back to making this look like uh, there is some sort of horizon there in the background and this is one way to do it. There's there's multiple ways to do it. We can split up the the artwork, basically cut it and then do two separate gradients, but I think this is one of the fastest way ways to, to really achieve that. And I think that's looking pretty cool. Now I think one of the things we're going to do, we're gonna take these here um, I might end up making this a different color I don't know maybe making it black and keeping it black will be fine I have to kind of play around with some of the colors here obviously on the um, version that would go over black that would kind of inverse out so let's do let's give the this smaller copy some some treatment here. And then we're going to add some some things to um the O and R, the R to give it a little more kind of action looks here. Like this is just kind of speeding in. And I think that will kind of help add a little something to it. So I think I'm going to group these two and then I'm going to line it, make sure it's nice and lined up. There we go. Because I think I might bring this one up a little more. I think that's a little much or maybe it's not I don't know maybe we can bring both of these down like that there we go kind of want it to still be visible from afar so it doesn't just kind of disappear that looks good to me I think what I'm gonna do is take this point here and pull that in a little more who knows maybe even with this we might even overlap it a little bit in which make this just a touch smaller or I might go back uh, I think that's fine the way it is all right I'm gonna take these here and see if we can't place it in other places to perhaps give it a little bit of action. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to 
reflect it. See how it looks at the bottom of the M. Maybe might look a little silly there. Let's see what happens when we do this. No, not a fan of that. Tell you what, let's see what it looks like here. That looks goofy as well. Maybe it's just the, the O that's going to have that. Mm. All right, let's revisit that on the, the bottom of the M. Maybe that will work. But we can just kind of adjust some of these angles here. Maybe make it a little steeper. Not quite as big. See how that comes out, overlap it a little bit. Let's group those. Line them down to the bottom of the M. See if that gives it a little bit of an action look to it. Now let's take that. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead. And I'm just going to make all these one shape. Okay, I think that O looks cool. This M. It does need a little bit of work. Let me back that up one step. So who knows, maybe it could be something just like that. Go ahead and combine all of these. See what we get. All right, I feel like that has a, a little more action to it. And then let's go ahead and, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and save. All right, um, let's take these here. And clone this off again. And then see what we got. We convert these over. Let's make this a gradient. And by the way, I mean, instead of using the, the gradient tool, I can come over here and just put in 90 degrees. Maybe even negative, there we go. Negative 90, see what that gets us. Now, could either be white or gray. Let's see how it looks with a gray scale style of almost a metallic kind of look. See what that gets us. Definitely want to keep some gray in there. Maybe I'll make this a little bit deeper of a gray. I'm going to have to pull that apart a little bit. And who knows, maybe maybe white might look better with a just a touch of gray in there. But we do want this to work on a white background, what we got going on here. Looks like I just keep dragging the, the same swatch off and ruining what I got going on here. Oh, the joys of being a designer. 
All right, so let's make this swatch here a little bit deeper. I feel like we had something going on there for a second and then kind of backpedaled on it. Yep. Make this a little wider. See what we got. Not necessarily sure that going through the, there that F looks all that great. Kind of still feel like the top of this needs to be a little wider. That might even have been the same swatch. Pull this down a little bit. See how this looks on top of the black. Obviously that tire mark's gonna disappear. All right, so I think I'm going to lean this a little bit more towards the white part. And what I mean by that is, let's see, I think that looks kind of cool. Let's see what happens if we drag a little black in there. Okay, so, At this point, I'm obviously you can see that I'm just kind of playing around with this, trying to get the the look that I am after. Try and get that horizon effect going and working well. I think that's looking a little better. Maybe so if this wasn't quite such a bright. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Let's take this and this one here. Let's just make a new swatch out of it. We'll call it gray gradient. I probably completely misspelled that. However, let's toss that on it. That looks pretty good. I just hit save. My my computer is not the fastest computer in the world. Um, I feel like I need to, to break this up a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to toss this on there real quick. I take this blue gradient, make a swatch out of it. Call this blue gradient. See what it looks like when we hit the motorsports with that, and then yeah, I don't like it like that. I don't look too too bad. Although this, I kind of feel like. Uh, at this point, we're just kind of really just playing around with colors. Let's see if we made this a really dark gray. In fact, stylize a little bit of a drop shadow there. Take a look at it and see what we got. I'm going to make this about 0 
make that 0 0.03. See what we get. All right, let's try 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Looks kind of cool. Kind of jumping off the, the artboard there. Let's put a drop shadow on the ORM. I think we'll let's try that with five, five, and seven. I put a drop shadow on this as well. See what that gets us. Who knows, maybe even putting a hard white stroke on the outside of these. Might do a little something for us. Gonna hit Command H. Um, let's go over to our stroke. Change the position of it. Not really liking that. Back up. There we go. I have no idea why the stroke just held on so long. Maybe it's just my computer not refreshing quick enough. Let's see. Quite odd. Let's get rid of the stroke. That away. All right, so one other thing I'm gonna try real quick is I'm going to go to object path, offset path. Let's preview that. I'm gonna put a negative in here. However, that is way too much. Let's say zero. Two, see what that gets us. Team zero one. Let's hit OK. And this will be subtle, but What we're going to, so what we're going to do, I have no, no idea why this um, M is a, a different stroke now, but, or, or fill. Sometimes that does a little something for it. You can see now what I basically did was flipped around the, the gradient, however, I kind of feel like I could have offset it a little more. And there we go with my, it must just be some issue with Illustrator because these strokes shouldn't be there when I backed up that far. Let's hit Command Y. Yeah, it's still there. That is odd. Yeah, and then when I go to the stroke, it's... That's so goofy. It's the first time I've run into that. I think my computer might need to be restarted. Got too much going on. We'll just put a stroke on it on purpose. See what it does and then get rid of it. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go back to this object path. We're gonna offset this path. I think we'll do it. Point zero one five. See what that gets us. Negative. Point zero one five. All right, I'm gonna 
cut that, go back to my gradients here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to use this swatch here to kind of standardize everything, see if that helps. Okay, there we go. Now let's flip it. Command F, paste that in front. See, now it looks pretty cool because it, it looks like it's got some highlighted parts. I'm going to undo that real quick. And I think I'm going to highlight this even more. Let me figure out which side it's on. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to take just some straight up white. But before I do that, I'm going to click off here. And maybe instead of it being just straight up white, we can just make it a pretty low white there. Okay, I think we went a little too far with that. Let's do that again. Pull it back. Let's go to 25 and see what that gets us. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure I'm quite feeling this gradient here. Let's see what happens when I make it black. Of course, you're not going to be able to see it. But of course. I don't know. I'm going to play around with this for a little bit until... I feel like my computer is just doing something really weird. Let's see what it looks like on black background looks pretty cool I think I might do the same treatment that I did to the ORM to motorsports and road here go to object path offset path so a little much let's do it again path offset path let's Maybe take that down to zero. Make this a seven. There we go. I'm going to cut that. And then we're going to, for whatever reason, man, things are just acting up. I'm going to flip all this stuff around. See how much of this we can... Select and flip around, and it's all the same gradient. There we go. Place that in front. Subtle, but it does a little something. And I probably should have grouped all this stuff, but... I group it, cut that. There we go. Let's flip that around. Paste that in front. There we go. Subtle. What makes it look a little bit like metal. Now, I, I think we're pretty good on this, somewhat. Um, you know, so all right, I think I know what I'm going to do. Let me group all this stuff. I should have done that to begin with. Yeah, my <laughs> computer just needs restarting. It's doing some really goofy stuff right now. I'm going to group that. That's already group. I'm going to cut these. Because it should. Uh, I know sometimes with these drop shadows, it um, thinks it's trying to select that drop shadow. However, yeah, I mean, this is all the same gradient. Like, 
don't quite understand what's going on here. All right, let's go back, make it the same gradient. Now, if it will stop making me select the ORM, I'm about to go and lock that selection on that. Okay, let's make some of this stuff just a, a touch lighter. Maybe we'll just make this straight up white. I'm gonna lighten up some of these. Paste that in front. Yeah. Uh, okay. I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to grab this and that. I guess I just need to grab one at a time and find the top part of our gradient. Now let's make that a little darker. Went a little too dark with that. Maybe even still. Yeah, no, I, I liked the gradient before. I'm gonna back up. Um, I'm just getting a little goofy here. Like I just feel like for whatever reason this is just uh just acting up at the moment. All right, I'm gonna lock this because this is just and group it. Go and lock that. Now it's no longer an issue. And I'll lock this thing as well while I'm at it. Go ahead and find that real quick. Let's go very back. Kind of had to undo some of the things I did, but no big deal. I'm gonna make this work anyways. Oh, Jesus. Got a little click happy there. So this is some of the fun stuff that uh, I just really just don't tell you about designing stuff. And look at that. There we go. Let's flip that. For whatever reason, the, these gradients just keep changing on me even though you guys have not seen me go and change them Peter's been on for a few days so it's acting up a little bit okay so a little bit of a metallic effect going on there looks pretty cool I think we're good with this one let's move on to the next design okay let's move on to something else I'm gonna take all this here, move that over, move this over here. Just going to scale this up. <clears throat> Let me go back and figure out where that's at, where I locked it. Let's go ahead and group that off. I'll come back and make a version that is white on black excuse me black on white 
In other words, it will have a white background. I might come and do some other things to this, but I feel uh, in order for me to be productive, I'm going to move on to something else. Come back and tweak all that stuff. All right. So, initially, I think we may just go with something else. I don't really care for that font. Looks kind of silly, I think. Mm. Let's see. ORM. Let's see what we got. That might look a little better. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. The old airstrike. Push this aside and might use some of those elements. Which we have the airstrike over here. Of course we do. There we are. Move these out the way. Enlarge that. So I think what we're going to do, let's take this one here this time. Take this dude. I'm going to double click on this. Get to this part here. All right. So let's take our blue gradient here. Got that work done already as it is. Take the off road motorsports. I think we'll make something go around the cog here. I think I'm going to take my round clips tool and let's just make some sort of round band. Turn this up to, I don't know, let's see what 40 looks like. I think that's a little much. Try 20. See what that gets us. Let's center all this stuff up. Then I think I'm going to take this. Copy and paste it to the front. I cut off road and we're going to type on this path. I'm going to paste that in there. And move this over. If we may, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll let it out. Maybe not. We'll figure that out as we go. Might not even use this font. I don't know. I have a cool font. Copy. Paste that in front. I'm going to cut this. Then I'm going to paste this here. And if I do remember correctly, type. Type on a path. Options. Let's see, we'll do flip. Put preview on. And let's try. There we go. I'm playing around with this a little bit. Let's just try that center. Move it over. 
hit undo there. Move this over. Now I'm going to select the copy, go over to character, shift this bad boy down a little bit. I think we can definitely make this type a little smaller. Let's see what happens when we hit center. Of course it flipped around. So let's bring this down here. There we go. Looking pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of don't like that D there. Let's see what the. Let's try that go bold again. Nah. New sir. The old super commando. Hmm. I like how this looks. I just not that big of a fan of the Fs, even though I mean, it's in that font, but yeah, it's just that D looks really goofy. Let's see if we can't find something a little more suiting. One of my favorite things is font searching because you can do this for hours. Eventually, you just need to settle on something. Kind of want something extended. And all these extended variations just. I don't know, something goofy about them. Who knows, that might work. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's give that a try. Let's go grab this little Texas portion over here. Paste that here. Rotate it a little bit. Make it look like it belongs there. Bring that to the front. So I think I'm going to size this down. Copy this, send it to the front. I'm going to reverse that out. I'm just going to make it red for the moment. And you'll see what I'm getting at. 
here soon. I don't know, maybe tighten this up and yeah, go back to where we're at. Take this, scale it down, take that as well, scale it, go like this, wrong one. And that to the back so I'm not grabbing it instead of where I'm trying to grab. Okay. Let's take this OR. Let's do that. This, I think I might. Make it not quite as thick. And then take me my rectangle tool here. Do a little something like so. Go over to my pathfinder. Break this up aside from this. These parts here. Get rid of that. Yeah, let's end up making this smaller. Same goes for this. Tighten up the kerning there. Center that up again. And this is going to be a little finicky working with this particular feature here. So make the font a little bigger. Tighten it up some. And I'm going to, it's not exactly what I was trying to do, but. Take my ruler, bring that down. Bring this down. Can't add a point here. There we go. Grab this dude. Well, let's see what we can't do about extending these out. See what that gets us. I think I went a little too far with these. So you pull a guide in here. Pull that there. One here. These uh, aren't too far off. Pull that over. That one as well.
Pull those down like that a little bit. Going to expand this. Take my square marquee tool, whatever you want to call it. And I'm kind of eyeballing this at this point. I don't fine tune it if they decide they really like this one. There's a little bit of that. I think I might put a space in there. Take this. Do that. Okay, let's um I don't know, let's go back to make this all the same gradient. I'm gonna group it, copy it, send it to the back, do what I do what I did earlier. Flip those around. Actually Yeah, let me uh just offset that. Really quick. Get rid of that. Let's make this one five. No Q there. Let's try that again. Offset path. Let's make that a five. There we go. Cut this front group. Get rid of these other portions here. <laughs> um, so where was that at? Aha. Let's see. I'm going to flip that around. Do one of these ditties.
Now yeah, stuff's getting weird. Why is that doing that? Toss this on there. Do this instead. Take this and do that. Okay, make these white. Put a black background behind it. I think I'll take this. back a little bit take this watch replace that guy
the hell's going on? <clears throat>
If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I think it's down over here. We got some other videos for you guys to watch. Also, if you're in the market for Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, these are links down below. What it'll do is help support our channel. So that way we can continue to put out videos such as these for you guys. Until next time, we'll see you later.